normal or oily hair. Try Helene Curtis Shampoo Plus A. It's wonderful for all the family, costs no more than ordinary shampoo. Let's play just... When you realize you're putting poison on someone, it makes you step back a minute and reevaluate your career, I guess. So, um, over the years, of course, I got in a little bit of trouble because I quit using the elite professional use only products that were full of the same poisons, the same paraben, the same propylene glycol, the same formaldehyde, which is now called DMDM hydatoin. They like to change names so people get confused. But um, I really started looking at health food store products and started reading labels. So one of the best books that I could suggest for anyone would be a book called What's in Your Cosmetics? And the author's name is Aubrey Hampton. Now, the story with him goes is he has his own line of products. He's considered the grandfather of natural, clean products. And he mixes every one of his different pieces in his line, shampoos, conditioner, styling aids. Um, it's a small line. He mixes them in 50-gallon <clears throat> vats and packages them. So the biggest thing I could say to people, too, is surely back in the mid-90s, behind the chair as a stylist, I started seeing people with more skin conditions. Um, the more the cell phones were up to the head, we were actually dealing with hair loss. And at that point, to really explain to people that if they want to um, stay well as they age, that maybe they should start counting the poisons that they were using because most people see them in the food they eat or what they do recreationally or what they drink. But there's so many hidden poisons in our industry and in the hairdressing industry, the beauty industry, cosmetics, the whole umbrella is in the top five most toxic in the service industry.